So why I am uh, uh, introducing mixed, this partial derivatives because one can give a sufficient condition in terms of these derivatives to say that the point critical point is a point of local maxima, local minima or it is a saddle point. So let us uh, write that theorem sufficient conditions. for local maximum and local minimum. So it says first of all consider the function f x y, x y in the domain D such that f x x, f x y, f y x and f y y, all the four derivatives exist. At some point a b belonging to d, all the derivatives exist. Define, so let us look at uh, the 2 by 2 determinant f x x at the point a b, f x y at the point a b, f y x at the point a b and f of y y at the point a b. So, what is this? This is 2 by 2 determinant whose entries are the first row is the partial derivative is the second order partial derivative f x x second entry is f x y, f second uh, row is f y x and f y y. So, this is called determinant at the point a b. So, called uh, this is a determinant is called discriminant, it is called discriminant of f at the point a b. you will get a number right calculate this quantity you will get a number so the test is in this number so let us write what is the test so one this delta ab the discriminant at the point ab is bigger than 0 this number which you calculate is bigger than 0 and the partial derivative with respect to x at ab is also less than 0 the discriminant is bigger than 0, the partial derivative is less than 0. Then of course, we should have uh, f x at a b equal to 0 equal to f y at, they should be critical points, we are looking at critical points right. So, these are discriminant. So, let the first derivative at a b is 0, look at the discriminant if it is positive and the second derivative f x x is less than 0 then f has local maximum at a b. Then the point a b is a point of local maximum. So, this is something like the second derivative test for functions of one variable. right? looking at discriminant that is positive. If you look at the second derivative test for function of one variable that was second derivative at that point should be less than 0 in one variable that implied local maximum and same thing is here also. So, that is one conclusion. Second discriminant at a b is still bigger than 0, but f x x at a b 
is uh, other way around. So, other possibility is it is bigger than 0, then f has local minimum at the point a b. Again similar to the one variable, if the second derivative test, if the second derivative at the point a b is bigger than 0, then the point was a local minimum, right? same thing happening. So, this is when the discriminant at that point is bigger than 0. right? So, what is the other possibility? Discriminant at that point a b is less than 0. In that case, f has a saddle point at a b, then it has saddle point at a b. So, look at discriminant, if it is bigger than 0 and look at the second order derivative with respect to x, if it is bigger than 0, local minimum less than 0, local maximum. And if uh, the discriminant is less than 0, then you can conclude it is a saddle point. What happens in case uh, this is, e what is the possibility left? This is equal to 0. Then f may or may not have local maximum minimum means what? What does the statement mean? This means that the test you cannot conclude anything. The function may have discriminant which is equal to 0, function may have a local maximum at that point, the function may have a local minimum at that point, may have a saddle point, anything is possible or none. right? So, you, then you have to employ some other method of concluding something. It is like one variable, if the second derivative is equal to 0, then you cannot conclude that the function has a local maximum or a local minimum. You may have to go to third derivative or some other method. right? So, these are only sufficient conditions to ensure that. Okay? So, probably let us look at uh, some uh, examples to illustrate that probably I think because that will involve some computation. So, let us, uh, so we are, whatever I have said uh, is there. So, let us look at uh, some examples. So, this is what saddle point uh, sort of the saddle looks like is a better picture. So, you can have a look at. So, if you go along this, there is a maximum and along this there is a, a minimum. So, that is saddle point. Okay. So, the definition once again saddle point P is belonging to the domain is a saddle point if there is a point where the value is bigger than the value at that point and also there is a point where the value is smaller. Okay. Okay, so, let us looking at the theorem and the consequences, this is the discriminant we defined. So, it is a 2 by 2 determinant f x x, f x y, f y x and f y y. Okay. So, they may not be 0 always, but sometimes you are lucky and they are. So, here is a test. If uh, at a point first derivatives are 0, that is necessary condition anyway for a point to be local maximum or minimum. We are analyzing the critical points, what we can say further, then if the discriminant is uh, bigger than 0 and the second derivative x x is less than 0, it, which will also imply actually that f y y, either of them can be looked at, then the function has a local maximum. And similarly, the discriminant is bigger than 0. And the second derivative with respect to x is uh, bigger than 0, both are bigger than 0, then this is a point of local minimum. And if the discriminant is uh, less than 0, then it is a saddle point equal to 0, you cannot conclude anything, right? The test fails, you can say, this is inconclusive. Okay. 
So, let us look at some uh, examples to illustrate uh, this point. So, let us look at this f x y is equal to 4 x y minus x 4 minus y 4. So, the function is continuous everywhere, it is differentiable everywhere, no problem, it is a polynomial function of two variables. So, what are the partial derivatives? The partial derivative with respect to x, so it will be 4 y minus 4 x cube, right. So, that is with respect to x and similarly with respect to y, it is symmetric, so you will get the partial derivatives, okay. So, both equal to 0, we have to solve those two equations, right. So, when you want to solve these equations, this equal to 0, this equal to 0, simultaneously solve these equations. So, uh, you will get points where the function can have local maximum, local minimum. So, this gives you three points, okay, namely where possibly the function can have local maximum. So, how are these three points obtained? by solving these two equations, right. So, we are not spending time on solving that, we will have to do that. So, now the point is at 0, 0, at 1, 1, at minus 1, minus 1, whether the function has local maxima, local minima or saddle point or you cannot say anything directly, you may have to look at something. So, let us try to see whether the test is applicable or not. So, let us compute the discriminant. So, if you find out the second derivatives, the minus 12 x q square f x y is 4. So, that gives me this is the second derivative. Oh, sorry, this is the discriminant at any point, right. Now, we have to compute it at the point separately for 0, 0, 1, 1 and minus 1, 1. So, let us look at the point 0, 0 when x is 0, y is 0. So, these two terms are 0. So, that give you a negative term, right, minus, so that is negative minus 16. So, directly you can say 0, 0 is a saddle point, right, discriminant you compute. So, there is a computational ap uh, application of uh, the 0. Similarly, you compute at 1, 1. So, put x is equal to 1, y equal to 1. So, what happens to this thing, right, x is equal to 1, y equal to 1, that is 9 minus, so that is okay, bigger than 0. So, discriminant is bigger than 0. Now, you have to look at f x x at that point, okay. So, you compute f x x at that point and that turns out to be minus 12, that is less than 0. So, what is the conclusion? Discriminant is bigger than 0. Second derivative f x x is less than 0. This is a point of local maximum, okay. So, this is a point of local maximum, okay. And similarly, for the other one, uh, because it is product, so it won't change actually. The product will not change. Similarly, you can check that at the point uh, minus one, minus one also, discriminant is bigger than zero, and uh, f x x or f y y is also uh, less than zero. So both the points are points of local maximum. So test applies right to both of them. If you like, just look at the point zero zero as a point of local. Minima? No. Local maximum? No. It was a saddle point according to the test. Let us just see whether we can avoid using the test, okay. So, look at the line y equal to x that is passing through 0, 0. We are looking at the point 0, 0. So, look at the line passing through 0, 0. What is f x x? That is this quantity which is always bigger than 0 in a neighborhood of 0, right. So, and similarly, if you look at x minus x, that is negative. So, along the line y equal to x, the function remains positive. So, close to 0, 0, you can find points where the value of the function is positive. At 0, 0, the value is 0. So, and along the line y equal to minus x, close to 0, 0, you can find points the value is negative, right. So, by definition itself, you can conclude that the point 0, 0 is a point of, is a saddle point for the function. You do not have to apply really the test, but test gives a nice uh, straightforward application. But you can look at, so how do you analyze something, test may fail. So, then how do you analyze whether uh, uh, 
is a local that, that is a saddle point or local you may have to go to the definition straight away see in a neighborhood how does the function behave okay so let us look at uh, this is another simple example for example if you look at uh, minus x4 y4 we know that what does the graph look like x4 y4 so it is always a positive right it will be like a cup right and uh, the point 0 0 will be a point of local it's a negative thing so it's an inverted cup so point 0 0 will be a point of absolute maximum actually not only at every other point the value is negative okay but if you look at the discriminant at that point 0 0 what is the discriminant first derivative will give you 4x cube right and uh, if you compute that second derivative also uh, and compute the discriminant that comes out to be zero so test fails in this case the test fails discriminant is zero and the function has local maximum at the point 0 0 right so if a test fail doesn't mean that neither is possible it anything is possible test fails means you can't conclude anything while looking at the discriminant if it is zero so this is an example of a function where the test fails but the function has a local maximum at the point 0 0 and if i invert that means if i take x4 y4 without the negative sign then again the discriminant will still be zero right but the function will have a local minimum at that point right so test may fail but anything is possible so that is what this example is showing okay right look at this example so in this example again if you compute discriminant that will turn out to be equal to zero so as such test does not help you to do anything it does not help you to compute or conclude anything right but for this you can try to maneuver for example if i look at it is uh, if i look at uh, this uh, line okay so uh, y cube is there if i look at the line x is equal to minus y what will happen i can analyze this function along a curve passing through 0 0 so for example i can look at the line where y is equal to minus x right and along that line so if you look at that then what is the function look like is a negative y equal to minus okay so or look at save look at the value of the function okay x1 t y1 t okay along the curve t minus t okay along that the function takes the values negative along the some other curve passing through it takes the value positive right y equal to x so that means along some curve it is a minimum along some other curve it is the maximum that is good enough to say that this is a point of saddle point right so this is by analyzing the behavior of the function at points close to the point where you are looking at along some curves but the curve should pass through that point that is important you should not look at arbitrary curve because you want to look at every neighborhood of that point right should have a point where the value is bigger and some other point where the value is smaller so you should have a curve passing through that so these are the way you analyze that 0 0 is a saddle point okay